Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Starting from today, we'll start a whole new set of SQL Accounting System tutorial. Let's start with pre-setting an SQL Accounting System installation. After you purchase from your dealer, you can get this installer from your dealer. So before you do the installation, please go to your control panel and look for region. If you're using older Windows operating systems such as Windows XP, maybe it's called regional setting. The idea is change the format. Maybe your current format is English United States or English Malaysia. Change it to English United Kingdom. This is because of the date format. If you do not change this, sometimes you might have problems during your PL viewing. So English United Kingdom, go to additional setting, go to currency. The current currency symbol is pounds dollar sign. Use your keyboard spacebar to remove it. If you are using delete, you are not able to apply. So spacebar, at least have an empty space. Click OK. OK. So this is the first setting. The second setting is in your Windows Firewall. Go into your Windows Firewall. Click on the at one setting. The idea of firewall is to block any harmful virus or unrecognized data coming in or going out from your system. So what we want to do here is we want to open a port like that means you open up a door specifically for SQL accounting system. So inbound rules, click on new rules, click on port, next. The specific local port for SQL is 3050. Next, allow the connection is stick. Next, all these three is stick. Next, just put a name called SQL will do. Click finish. So after finish for inbound rules, we repeat the same process for outbound rules. If you can remember, the first thing is click on new rule, click on port. Next, 3050. Next, allow the connection. Next, all these three is tick. Next, SQL finish okay so this is the pre-setting that require for SQL accounting system highly recommend you to do this before you install even after you install you can still do the pre-setting again okay now what you need to do is very straightforward double click on the installer click on I accept the agreement next now normally this is the path of SQL accounting system installation. But personally, I highly recommend you to not use the program file and make it like this. C semicolon slash e stream slash SQL accounting. This is because sometimes program file may block SQL due to unrecognized reason or, or security reason. So that's why direct install into your C drive is okay. So C e stream SQL accounting. Next, so make sure all these three paths is similar. Is C E stream SQL accounting. The only difference is at the end, bin folder is bin, share folder is share, database folder is DB. So click on next, next install. So it will take a very short time to do the installation. So after the installation, click on finish. Now, there will be two selections. Evaluation is to create a sample database for first time user. Custom setting is if you already in a network environment and you do not want the testing company and you want to direct link to the server, then you can choose custom setting. But normally I will advise you to click on evaluations. This is because after creating the testing company 
and you're able to log into the testing company like this, meaning that your installation is successful. Okay, so and then for any SQL accounting system user, if you have a testing company, then it's easier for us to support you because we want to check whether the system got any problems or not, or it's only because of a certain database or specific database, not the whole system. Because as long as you can log in to this testing company, and as usual, for any new company or testing company, the username is admin, password is also admin. If you can log in like this, meaning that the installation is successful. Okay, so exit. So you have a shortcut over here. Then every time when you want to use SQL, just double click on this shortcut. Now, then where is your actual database and all the stuff? So if you still remember, the actual SQL is under your C drive, eStream, SQL accounting, and in SQL, there's three folder. DB is where you store all your database. Share is for SQL to do the networking or sharing or pointing to server. And then the, and then the bin folder is where all the file is over here. If you want to uninstall SQL, so basically what you need to do is go to bin folder, click on this union ns000.exe. For an installation or upgrading, I have another tutorial video for you later. So if your shortcut is disappeared, very simple. Just look for a file called SQL. SCC.exe. This is the actual applications. You can right click it and send to desktop as shortcut. If your shortcut you have mistakenly delete it or something like that. Okay, so thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.